My name is Dr. Shuttle Shah. I'm a professor of clinical pediatrics at Maria Freire Children's Hospital and New York Medical College, part of Westchester Medical Center. Vaping is the new epidemic for our youth. The most recent data suggests that about 28%, 27.5% of all teenagers have vaped at some point during their high school years. That's the definition of an epidemic. The use of nicotine is very dangerous for the teenage brain. We know that it impairs learning and memory. It can impair attention, and it can also set up for a lifelong habit of smoking. A large percentage of kids who vape don't even know that vapes contain nicotine. And that's extremely important because nicotine is an addictive drug. They'll spend the rest of their life using different devices and different concentrations of nicotine, trying to experience the same pleasure that they had from that very first vape. One of the most commonly used chemicals in a lot of the fruity flavoring called diacetyl has a known history of causing something called popcorn worker's lung and is regulated by occupational health for what the standard can be in a room, yet there's no regulations for what the standards can be for inhalation for an individual user. We now have 12 and 13 year olds who are having to chew nicotine gum in class because they've gotten addicted to nicotine through vaping, sometimes in as short as a couple of weeks. Um, so it's, it's sad that this is the way we're having to learn about this type of disease. So as I mentioned, the goal is prevention. Don't let these kids use it, don't let them get hooked, and then we can prevent the lung diseases that can occur.